Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. And in regards to today's topic, I really do hope everyone is doing well. So upon hearing of uh, someone's father who's not doing too well, um, I just had the thought of quickly looking through the word Shifa in the Quran for myself. I know people have probably done this in the past, but I thought I'd just have a quick look. And yeah, um, I thought it'd be a waste if I didn't share this. Yeah, depending on um, how long you've been following the channel uh, and depending on how awake you are. Uh, yeah, many of us expected a lot of sickness and death in 2021. But it looks like those numbers are starting to, not starting to, they're increasing, I guess. Um, yeah, it just took a bit longer. But yeah, everything that we expected is happening. And uh, that goes for... Yeah, deaths by war or death death by plague. But obviously we know that plague is what was injected into everyone. Um, and even the war, it's not a, a real war. It's a manufactured war or manufactured... Um, yeah, basically the organized chaos taking place around the entire world. So keeping this simple about the individual, because obviously we can't control what happens in the world but we can control what is happening with our own lives. And if I remember correctly off the top of my head, I think there is that kind of theme as well. I think if I remember in Surah Kaf, you know, that if you worry about the entire world, you know, basically something along the lines, I'm paraphrasing, what will be your condition? What will, will be your state? You know, it's not for you to necessarily worry about the entire world. Anyway, so back to the healing. These are the six lessons that I picked up on um, how Allah speaks about healing in the Quran. So it seems though to me that Allah is saying that we must fight. That is what will provide healing for us. Um, we must seek the advice from Allah. Uh, that is what will provide healing. And uh, there's also consuming milk, fruits, sugar, which is sakar, not khamran not wine or alcohol that's different anyway but uh yeah so for healing consume milk fruits sugars honey and reading seems to also be uh, alluded to as a form of healing well if you understand the quran to be reading and then there's thinking about who is our source of healing and lastly what has been gifted to us as the best source of healing أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدونك الرحمة إنك أنت الوحاب So the first one of those six is this one which is fight them So fight, fight who? Fight these kafir the ones who are covering up the truth the ones who are breaking their oaths the ones who break their promises you know, oh, we're not going to go into lockdown. Oh, yeah, sorry, we're going to go into lockdown. Yeah, that's that's breaking, a, that's breaking an oath. They're the ones covering up the truth. Make of that what you will. I think it applies. So fight them. Yeah. Allah will punish them by your hands and disgrace them and give you victory over them. And Allah will heal the breasts of the people who are believing. Of the nation or the community, the qawm, yeah, of the mu'mineen. The point of this session is healing, yeah. This one, wa yashfi, wa yashfi, and will heal the breasts of a believing nation or a believing people or a believing community. And then in the next one, who are you here? Wa yumitu wa ilayhi turjoon. He gives life and causes death, and to him you will be returned. And then in the next verse, O mankind, verily has come to you an instruction. Yeah. So what, where are we going to get our advice from? An instruction from your Lord, Anna Shifa. So here's the Shifa healing. Wa Shifa ulima fi suduri wa huda wa rahmatul lil mu'minin. Wa huda wa rahmatul wa rahmatul lil mu'minin. And then in number three, in Surah An-Nahl, 
verse 66. So Allah gave us to drink the milk, the pure milk coming from the cattle. So Allah speaks about giving us the pure milk to drink from the cattle. And then very soon after speaks of and from the fruits, the date palm and the grapes, you take from it. I wouldn't say intoxicant. Sucker is not intoxicant. Khamran is intoxicant. This is actually where people twist things and try to justify a drinking habit that they don't want to necessarily give up. And they want to justify that drinking a little bit of alcohol is okay in Islam. Anyway, that's another side point. Yes, yeah, sucker is something more dazzling or something that puts you into some kind of stupor but we all know the powerful drug that sugar is and you just have to google sucker and find for yourself in how many different languages sucker is definitely sugar <laughs> it's not alcohol it's not intoxicant yeah you look in french uh, sugar look in um what else spanish urdu you'll find it Ger german sucker sucre whatever you want to call it sucker is sugar it's not alcohol um anyway so this is where people try to justify that back to the point yeah and the other thing is sucker is not what shaitan tries to use to um get us yeah if you look in the quran it's khamran that uh, clearly allah says you know it's associated with gambling obviously we know this the two the two go together gambling and alcohol and the thing that shaitan tries to get us on and the thing that allah says will only be provided for us uh, in the hereafter anyway so yes yeah, soccer is something else it's it's close it's similar because obviously like i said sugar is a drug it's a strong drug it, you can see that it is a drug of sorts yeah you have some great desserts you have some great chocolate or something yeah everyone's feeling very happy <laughs> everyone's feeling good but it's not alcohol it's not the thing that causes serious problems in society Anyway, back to the healing, not the things that cause damage to society. Back to the things that heal. So Allah has given us uh, fruits as a healing. He's given us milk. He's given us uh, the sugars that come from these, the foods. And then, yeah, in the next verse is... Yep, so after the milk and the fruits um, and the sugars... Then Allah speaks about the bee and what comes from the bee is honey. So you've got, yep, so the milk, the fruits and, and the drink that comes from the bellies of the honey. Yep, all of this is a shifa, a healing. And then in the fourth mentioning of healing, وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا And say, the truth has come and perished the falsehood. Indeed, the falsehood is bound to perish. And immediately after that, Allah says, So Allah says that the Qur'an is a shifa amongst other things a mercy for the believers so the quran is the shifa so if the quran so if the quran is a shifa and a, the quran is a reading so that tells you that reading the reading because quran is the reading so reading the reading is a shifa so this is one of the beautiful portions of the quran الذي خلقني فهو يهدين. والذي هو يطعمني ويشقين. وإذا مرضت فهو يشفين. And when I'm ill, then he cures me. So almost done. So this is, I think, the fifth mentioning of Shifa. So it's Allah that is the source. So the Quran is, is reading the Quran is a means of Shifa and the source of Shifa is Allah. And lastly, the final mentioning of Shifa is here. 
where the Quran that is explained in detail is a healing okay got there in the end okay so just a quick one today and I'll stop there and just in case it wasn't clear or some bits might have been missed the takeaway is this healing mentioned six times in the Quran and of those six Allah seems to be saying that fight these people who are covering up the truth who break their promises that's number one number two seems to be seek the instruction from Allah that's a source of shifa number three consume all of the good stuff that Allah has provided us milk, fruits, sugars, honeys that is all a source of shifa number four uh, reading the Quran so that comes number four reading the Quran so that comes straight after uh, the mentioning of falsehood perishing so reading the Quran that seems to be a source of shifa as well and also that Allah makes it clear that he is the source of shifa, that he is the source of shifa and that the Quran the explained Arabic Quran is also the source of shifa so I hope that helps somewhat so to sum it up even more Allah the Quran eat all the good stuff and fight see you in the next one inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullah